Hello everyone, my name is Hamari and I'm from India. I come from the northeast part of India and uh, that is the reason I don't uh, look like a usual Indian. Um, and um, I've been here since 2021. I've been working here as an English teacher in a foreign language school. And uh, today we're here because uh, there is something that I have decided to do and uh, that uh, I think is a good idea because uh, I see that uh, we don't have um, enough uh, knowledge about the place that I live in and also the place that I live in here, the people don't have enough knowledge about the place where I come from. So. This is the reason why um, I had decided to do something. I'm in a city called Krasnoyarsk, which is in Siberia. And uh, honestly, when I first gave my interview, I had no idea about the place. In fact, I didn't have any idea about Siberia as well. I know there is a place called Siberia, but uh, I didn't have any information about it or how life would be there. But uh, after I gave my interview and I got selected for the job, I started uh, doing some research about the place and um, I understood that it's a very cold country and uh, also one of the coldest places. I think not one of them, it's the one, it's the coldest place on earth is located in Siberia. And um, I understood that it is a cold place, but uh, I anyhow decided to come here. And uh, honestly, I can probably say now that I didn't have, that I didn't, I don't have any regrets that I'm here. I love the place and I love the beauty here and I love how life is here. There are um, many things that I learned after I came to Siberia because I come from a country which is very, very hot um, in summer and uh, my winter is um, like their summer in Siberia. So I learned a lot of things and uh, it is something very interesting for me and I think that it would be very interesting for people here as well to, not people here, sorry, for people outside to understand and know this place. Before I came here, my school was really concerned how I would adjust with the country here, I mean with the climate conditions here. And they asked me about it when I gave my interview, I just thought, whatever life takes, let's <laughs> just go with the flow and uh, accept everything as a blessing and do it. Let's just do it. So I'm here finally. And it's been uh, almost three years now. And uh, I can say that I'm loving it so far. Okay. I decided to start this YouTube channel because um, um, I don't want people to not only understand or know that Siberia is a cold country and there is nothing to do here. Well, when I first came here, I must have thought something like that only. But uh, now my perspectives about this place have completely changed and I'm glad to know that uh, places like this also exist and people still find a way to find joy and happiness in their lives and um, they have been living here for centuries and they're doing absolutely fine. I still remember the day I came here when I was on my flight and we were about to land. I buckled up my seat and I sat straight and I opened the window and I was uh, looking down the window and as we started landing, I could see the landscapes of the place and then I was completely mesmerized by it and uh, that kind of gave me the idea about this and I thought people should know about this place and um, the fact that uh, it is a cool country you get to see a different kind of beauty in every season. So the same place can look different in summer, in the winter, in the spring and in autumn. So sometimes it feels like you are 
living in a different places. Each season, you feel like you're different, living in a different place and in a different country. But uh, that is not the fact. It's just what nature can give you and what you can get from the nature. Well, that's how everything started. Today, I'm wearing my traditional dress. It is, um, it is not the actual print is not the real traditional dress but the way the dress should be this is how it is but the the real traditional dress has a different print this can and this you can say that it is a modern uh, take on my traditional dress because uh, if you look closer to it it's like flower print but the real traditional dress the real print it is red a white and um, red and white those are the major colors for my traditional dress the lower part is called Vignai and this is called Rikutu and now uh, we wear it with uh, um, ornaments we have our own ornaments but I don't have it with me now so I cannot show it to them maybe when I go to India in my next travel maybe I can get some videos about it and share it with you all so that's about it for now and um, in my future videos I would be sharing more uh, places and I would be talking about uh, different things that people do here to um, to survive or to live a normal life and um, I also want to use this platform as a place for a cultural exchange between countries so it will be a place to gather more knowledge about Siberia for the people outside and it will be a place uh, for Siberians to know more about culture outside Siberia so this is my whole plan and um, wish me luck for my future <laughs> endeavors. <laughs> That's all for now. Thank you so much for your time and I would like to end my video here. I will see you all again in my future videos but of course from time to time I will be doing interviews like this where I will share more information about different different things that I um, got to know what that I learned after leaving here. So thank you and goodbye and uh, namaste.